Hi everyone, my name is Bob Trezeis, and I'm President and CEO of Lansing Economic Area Partnership, LEAP, which is our Ingham, Meaton, and Clinton County's Regional Economic Development Agency, Global Lansing. How is everybody doing this week? I hope you're doing well, I'm doing great. Look at all of the clips of all of the incredible economic news stories just in the last week alone in the greater Lansing community. You will be amazed. Um, take a look at those, click on them, and read the great stories about us. I have a number of real quick uh, interesting stories as well. Let's get right to it. Well, one of the most frequent questions I get asked about is the Under the Bridge project. And if everyone recalls, this was a, a LEAP-led um, project along Michigan Avenue. There's a bridge, US-127 bridge, near Michigan State University that's not so nice. And the bridge acts more like a wall, preventing people and traffic and um, creativity, uh, prevented flowing and connecting to one another. It's a very unpleasant area. So we put together a $100,000 plus campaign to really fix up the bridge, make it look beautiful and nice with uh, murals and lighting and special kinds of lighting and everything else. And it all came together. We're so thankful to our sponsors, to the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. It became a crowdfunding project as well, patronicity.com, all the money came together. And then we got delayed for a number of reasons um, late last year, but I'm pleased to tell you that in mid-May the whole project does kick off. Uh, all the special lighting will be installed and the painting will begin. And I even hesitate to call these murals. They are real genuine paintings. They're absolutely amazing. And the whole bridge and that whole area is going to be transformed into a special place where uh, people and communities can really interact with one another and feel comfortable about traversing the area as opposed to the way it is now. So uh, we have to wait for the concrete of the bridge to re reach a stable 40 degrees uh, to begin the painting and as I said the lighting will begin in mid-May as well. It's all a go and thank you to the MEDC uh, and patronicity.com and all of our sponsors. Well, uh, one last time, we want to note that one of our uh, placemaking projects was to create uh, Lansing's, our capital city, our three county area's very first Poet Laureate program. And this week, our committee went ahead and picked uh, the Poet Laureate. It's Dennis Henriksen. He is an amazing uh, published poet, a former uh, professor at Lansing Community College. He's had seven books published. Uh, he's a terrific person and a terrific, um, uh, terrific uh, poet as well. Well, I want to thank our partners at Michigan State University as well as the Lansing Poetry Club for putting this amazing project together. Again, this is just another way of many ways of shifting our image from Rust Belt to something more sophisticated, more global, more fun, more creative, international, if you will. It's a demonstration that we're a big city, a metropolitan environment, that we know how to attract and retain talent and to bring in big business from around the world. Um, and so this is a really nice, healthy, and fun step forward for us. And LEAP is very proud to put in place uh, the process and the funding for this program. Congratulations to Dennis Hendrickson. You're going to be great. Want to just note quickly that coming up this Thursday, April 27th in the evening is the annual Lansing Promise Dinner. And this is an absolutely awesome event put together by our great friends at the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce in conjunction with the Lansing Promise Program. And Kelly Dean is an obvious leader of that. But this is an amazing event where we raise money as a community to once again support Lansing kids going on to two and four year uh, college and university opportunities under scholarship. It's a great way to do economic development. It's a great way to uh, create talent and to um, enhance our workforce. Uh, and by the way, our, our uh, own, very own Magic Johnson will be there as well as usual. And thank you so much to Irvin Magic Johnson. Uh, he's our local guy, uh, family's still here. He loves Lansing, Lansing loves Magic. And so uh, we look forward to seeing Irvin there as well. It's gonna be a great event. Google Lansing Promise, buy your tickets today. 
I want to say congratulations to the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce, a big thank you to the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, and to LEAP, our own Brent Case, for putting together this week what was the procurement um, event uh, summit at the Lansing Center here in downtown Lansing. Um, the MEDC puts these events on around the state. The idea is to build our own businesses, is connect a big business with small business in our state, and create business, create relationships, and keep our money circulating within our own economy. And we hadn't done one here in our region before. So Tim Damon at the Lansing Chamber, Brent Case here, got together with the MEDC and put together this event. And it ended up being one of the biggest and best that the MEDC has put on anywhere in the state. 320 people attended. Uh, there were 15 huge buyer companies. And we had close to 200 businesses with well over 50% all local businesses there making one-on-one -on -one connections um, and creating business and again keeping our money circulating and um, multiplying here in our local economy it was a great event and again thanks to the MEDC Lansing Regional Chamber and of course leap our tri party really put together a fine and an important event for business development of course one of the the significant um, catalyst for our region being a genuine, uh, incredible global player in the economy is Michigan State University for so many reasons. And here's another great reason this week, and it's one of the clips that you can read below me, but MSU Business School aims for Google vibe. And Michigan State's uh, vision is for an upcoming $62 million expansion of the Eli Bro College of Business and approximately 100,000 square feet of new classrooms, laboratories, workrooms, gathering spaces, Space are included in this expansion. It will add flexibility in workspaces coupled with new technology. It will give students necessary experiences before they start their jobs at Google or similar companies. In other words, this new um, add-on and facility mimics um, the highest tech companies in the world in training our workforce and students right here. So if you're a high tech company, another great reason to be locating in the Lansing region. Uh, congratulations to Michigan State University and President Simon. Yeah, I do want to note too, just as a little teaser, um, our pipeline here at LEAP for economic development and our greater Lansing community is huge right now. And uh, we are working on so many projects um, from agricultural production facilities to manufacturing facilities to corporate headquarters to health industry projects um, everything across the board i you know i really believe that a year from now um, in the spring of 2018 that we really could have one and a half to maybe even two billion dollars of total construction projects. A lot of it that LEAP has worked on, some of it that we haven't, like these Michigan State University new building projects, but regardless, um, there are a lot of huge projects. It could be a lot of fun. I hesitate, I don't wanna count our chickens yet, but things are really hot in the economy. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do all the construction to be honest with you. I, there's no way we could supply locally. I don't think all the construction workers that are gonna be required, which is awesome news for the construction industry. Uh, and maybe another great way to recruit new people to move here and get to like it and live here at some point with their families, who knows. But it really should be a terrific time uh, um, and an exciting time. Yeah, and one last thing, I want to say a special thank you and acknowledgement of Sandy Dragoo. Sandy Dragoo has been the longtime uh, executive director of the Capital Area Transportation Authority, otherwise known as CATA, which is one of the nation's finest um, public transit, uh, mass transit systems running throughout Ingham County. And Sandy has been there for 42 years, and I believe 30-some years served as the executive director. And this week she announced her retirement. And Sandy, we want to wish you well. We love you. We thank you for decades of um, commitment to uh, helping people in our region, helping people get from one place to another. We oftentimes forget that many, many, many people don't have their own cars. And you have uh, helped to create a, a uh, very innovative and uh, extremely professional and efficient mass public transit system for the entire county. And uh, Sandy, we salute you.